How you doing? There he goes. Hi. Right in. Bye, buddy. Hello, Mr. Alligator Gar. How you doing, buddy? So uh, today we're going to be giving him uh, his new little home. Oh my goodness. Not at Blake's house yet, but uh, but uh, in the new mini pond. So we're going to take this little guy out. We got to do a couple things. We just gave this tank a nice little water change. Hi, buddy. Oh my God, you're huge. Just like that. See him? And uh, we have some of the water from the outside pond. That I already made a little mixture. Ready? Yep. See him? Look, he's biting on because he's so mean. He bit on. <laughs> Hi. Now, how, how big do you think he is? 12 inches? Oh, uh, yeah. 10, 12 inches. No problem. Definitely the size of my foot. He's giant. Yeah, he's, since, since you got him. Look at him. Guys, look how big the alligator gar has gotten. And uh, he definitely smells like an alligator gar because it smells horrible right now. Hi, buddy. So the time has come. We have this beautiful alligator gar inside of this bucket right here. And now it's time to get our new little mini goldfish that we got last night. Time to get this beautiful little goldfish and put him inside the big pond. So let's do that. Nobody. See him? Oh, he's so cute. All right, I got the big net. And then we're going to take the little mini net. See him. Ready? Yep. Hi, buddy. Welcome. Look, like everybody's gonna go crazy. So we have this beautiful alligator gar. Let's look right here. Let's get him out of here. Um, oh wait, should we measure him? I want to measure him. Yeah. Uh, wait up. That's about as long as uh, yeah, like an inch off of that. There you go. Come on. So right about here? Yeah. So uh, now we know right there. Let's get this little guy out of here. Come on. Let's go. You're good, buddy. You're good. Welcome. Welcome. And that is my beautiful alligator gar. He's going to do so awesome. Look, he's probably going to start eating. Look, <laughs> watch it. I'm telling you, this little thing is a savage. He'll eat instantly. Guys, so how cool is that to literally see my babies grow up? Uh, we we literally saw them the day that SCK Cichlids actually came to my house, um, and he gave me the clown. He gave me two uh, red tails. He gave me the freaking uh, yeah, that was about it. But uh, he tried to give me the arowana, and uh, then we went off and we got the tiger shovel and those hybrids. Guys, all these fish are getting so big; they're all still alive. Uh, other than one fatality of a red tail that had a growth disorder. He went from like six inches to like 12 inches in probably two weeks and he died because that's just incredible. You can't do that. We got to go over and get the new albino cloud knife fish. The reason why we're making a fish gallery is because that's why they're dirty because the sun screws them up here early morning the sun. You just explained it. All right, that wasn't, that wasn't a good explaining. Hey, Raw Fam, so you guys actually know that uh, the sun makes algae, and whenever you have a tank or a pond like mine outside, you guys remember how bad my pond was that at, a, at a point uh, because the whole liner was stained? Well, this new liner I actually put in isn't stained anymore, so that's why I could get on top of it and control it. But algae just grows so quick, and this tank right here, it's just, it's out in the sun, and it's so hot, and there's just such a high beam, I guess, because we have just so much sunlight in South Florida. That is exactly why this tank right here has per perfectly good water. Just, it's gonna be black like that because it's just outside. So we literally had to make a fish gallery like we did. We made a pool pond in there. We put the alligator gars in there. We put the pakus, the red tail. Very cool, my buddy Blake, what's up? What's up, you guys? How you guys doing? And, uh, yeah, you guys have seen his channel already. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, there's a link in the description. We're actually going to be getting his albino clown knife so he could grow at my house. I, I don't know. He, he's some, he thinks that I am uh, somewhat decent at keeping fish, so he's going to let me... Uh, he's going to let me take his albino clown knife and this tiger grouper-looking thing. I don't know. I so. I'm trying to find the name so we can say he's right trying right. to He's trying to find the I name. I know the name, but I'm going to make sure Guys, it right looks right. like a grouper and a tiger, so we're going to say tiger grouper. I don't really care in the comments, whatever. Say the night, the real name. 
Let's get this fish. It's gonna be really cool. You do whatever you want. So, All right, uh, guys, I'm taking off the top of this 150 gallon tank. My buddy is uh, just gonna get his tank all ready, so then uh, I could get or he could get this fish out, yeah. and then uh, bring it over to the raw fam. Though. We're gonna bring it over to the raw fam. Yes, Franklin is pretty good at training his fish. I'm good at taking care of him, but he knows how to get those things to eat out of your hand, so that's why we're taking him over there. Oh, thank you. No problem, buddy. I appreciate it. He's pretty good at training fish. Something I'm not good at. I would say that. But caring and knowing about him, good at that. I'm getting better. Hey, hey Blake, no, you're getting good. Like how how horrible was I at the beginning? At the beginning, you didn't know too much. But now he's, he's Guys, good. Guys, I now. didn't know that there was anything in the water. Basically, before I knew anything about fish, uh, my my first round of fish, like all of them, they just like let's be real. Like I'm gonna be real with y'all. Not lying. I'm not lying. They just. I didn't know anything about water. I didn't know that there was nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, pH. I had no idea that there was anything inside of the water. Um, so I just thought that you never had to do a water change, guys. I just didn't know. I had tanks that basically self-sustained because I had mollies and different stuff like that that could live through anything. So I really just didn't know. I wasn't educated. So then my buddy SCK Cichlids came over, gave me his time, he taught me. And guys, I learned so much from him. And then once he started it, he planted the seed, I took off. I did so much research. I learned everything about it. And and here we are today, guys. Like, like honestly. Does that sound about right, Blake? Sounds pretty good to me. I mean, uh, the, the pool pond. Uh, how many casualties have we had in the pool pond? Mine or yours? My, my pool, yours. My pool pond since good. we learned. Oh, since you learned, now it's perfect. The only fish that, that actually passed away was that platinum diamond thing that i got he died the day i got him oh okay you know the thing with the the guys that the really the really weird dot eye thing um I, I don't know how long that that fish was actually in the bucket that i actually got him from um he just as soon as i got him he was really weak i put him in the current and it just i don't know it was a really weird fish he just passed away but it's okay because one out of 30 <laughs> one out of 30 and that was the day I got him I mean transporting fish is a really stressful thing and I mean it just happened so you ready is that, yeah. is that bucket almost done? Take, yeah that bucket's ready I'm gonna take this brick out for you the clown knife is in there right now and you're gonna take that brick home so it's inside your yeah tank. perfect yeah so he really likes the those, clown uh, knife is right here you can look on top if you want watch when I back him up see him right there you guys yep it's pretty big hi buddy and that has all different types of beneficial bacteria. Everything they like, yeah. Anything that they would like. They wouldn't be inside of that living all over it if it wasn't good and essential. So you want to get that guy? You ready? See me, guys? Albino clown knife. Albino clown knife, everybody. All right. Woo! Very epic, buddy. Yeah, that boy. See me, guys? Wait. Hi, buddy. All right. Oh, man, he looks like a grouper. Something like that. So we actually have the albino clown knife and this grouper looking thing. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're gonna come get this. Oh my goodness, bro. Do you see those fish? They, that clown is so healthy. And uh, we're gonna take these guys inside real quick. Real quick, let's just acknowledge all these guys. See them all? Are they doing good? There's my red tail. Look at the car, look at the car. Oh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. See them right there? The water's doing perfect. Where's the, oh, look, the red tail's right there. Zoom out right here. See him? There he is. Hi, buddy. Good. How you doing? There you go. He used to be trained. Uh, whenever I had him on top tilapia flays, I used to come over. I'd me and my buddy David. Whenever he's at David's house, just take it, put a little piece of tilapia, and you go. <gasps> he's like yum 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 munches. All right. Get him used to this water, you guys. Yeah. So uh, basically, what we did, we have. Uh, a half a five gallon bucket or whatever yeah. right here and then uh, we're just gonna fill it up with some of the the tank water that they're gonna be going into exactly 
How's that tiger doing? He's good? He's fine. He just hangs onto the side a lot. He likes that? I've had him for about a year and a half now. This is the cinder block that they are used to when they came from my house. They'll uh, basically be really calm and they'll be chilling whenever that's in there with them. Yeah. All right, put the put the cover back on so then we can see how the tank looks. You guys like it? Think they'll like it? Yeah. I think they'll like their new home. Sure. Yeah. Very good. Good enough for them to eat and stuff. And exactly. This will last probably another two, three months. Right about there, and then yeah. time to move them into the 200 gallon. All right, my buddy Blake helped me out, and uh, we had to switch over to the to the other camera, to my little vlog camera, and uh, we have our epic little fishies. You ready to put them in, buddy? I'm ready. You don't want to use? Do you want to use that net, or you want to use my my bigger net? I have I have a little bit bigger one outside. It doesn't matter, I think. It doesn't matter. So we could we could just use that. You want to grab that one? <laughs> and uh, a net. yeah, a little butterfly net, and uh, basically we can. Uh, Get that off of there. We got an epic little tank. You wanna come over here and hold the camera, buddy? Yeah. Ready? Let's do the group one at a time. Grouper first. Because he is a dive knight. He's a grouper. Alright. Ready, buddy? It's probably gonna be real nice in here. Yeah, his spine's over here. He's alright. And this is my pet grouper, everybody. Ooh, you're in the wet zone, buddy. Oh, yeah. He's gonna go right in that break. Get ready. Ready for it? He's like, where am I? He's like, what the heck? He's <laughs> gonna be chilling. He's gonna be grubbing. He looks like a red grouper. Do you see that? You know what a red grouper looks like? They have some big lips when they're eating. Oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're so pretty. And uh, we're gonna put your friend inside right now. Hey. Right. And guys, most likely this is what everybody has been waiting for. This is the thumbnail. This is the this is the it. So, everybody. Yeah. yeah, this guy's a daddy. Oh, he's so pretty. Pure old barn right there. Let's just calm down a little bit. Ready, buddy? Ready. Look at his eyes shining. <laughs> Get his head right in. There he goes. Bye, buddy. Very calm. He's nice and fat, too, bro. Did you feed him? Woo, he's fat. That's a little fat boy. Oh, yeah. He eats real good. And Blake said, do you have any rock salt? Guys, do I have any rock salt? You know what we're doing over here. So is that good, Blake? Uh, a little more. I can't hurt him, so calm down. That much? Yeah, that's good. They're all regular. Cool. I always like doing that when I'm moving fish. Helps them adjust better. Oh yeah. Cool. And if you didn't have this, I mean, they'll they'll probably make it. It'll be fine, but I just like it. It just yeah, this kind of calms them down, makes them relax. Can't get any more albino than that, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that thing is so epic, guys. So guys, look at my brand new albino clown knife. Guys, this thing is so epic. He's gonna be eating soon. We just put some of this rock salt in there. Um, we had to put the little viral touch on the talking, you feel me, buddy? But guys, this is so cool. He's gonna be all up in his little uh, <laughs> his little brick. Blake said, yo, if you're gonna take him, you need to bring the brick. You gotta so, bring the brick. <laughs> gotta bring the brick. This is his best friend. So uh, yeah, guys, how epic is this? Bro, you wanna go out to the, the big pond and let these guys kind of chill out a little? Good, yeah. We still have those strawberries we got the other day. Hey, Blake, can you move this, buddy? You can actually throw a little bit of koi food in there too if you want. Hopefully Cash doesn't come up and eat the koi food like he's known to so uh we're gonna take a little strawberry oh yeah cat fort or cash thank you bro what the heck bro he's so excited he's waiting for catch to get here come on eat your strawberries guys come on yes guys watch this ready the pockets are gonna go for it <clears throat> oh there he goes hi buddy yeah you see him going for it right there, guys? He is, Cash is truly the king of this pond. I don't care what fort can jump out of the water or whatever, he's not the king. Cash is. 
No! Stop it! Spit it out, thank you. Jeez. Stop. It's not your food. Um, come here, Faku, go eat it. Faku, which one of you guys- Oh, you already ate it off camera, you little dork. Where is he? See this little guy? Stop. Alright, come on, buddy. Go. Stop. Not for you. Go, Paku. There he goes. Come on, go back, Paku. That a boy. That a boy, Mr. Paku. Every night they get their little strawberries. They love it so much.